My, 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 that's a confident looking stroke from Kumbhle. Here have established themselves into a good position in this match. The ball must be very close to. Oh, width again. Even Kumbhle's getting. That's better from Kumbhle. Been in for quite a while now, nearly two hours. No, that could go for four. And on lucky edge. It's his 50, that's all that matters. And play Daniel Cumbly. Just spared a thought for uh, Jimmy Anderson. While Cumbly celebrates and the Indian team are happy at 5.51 for seven. Jimmy Anderson's ball pretty well, without any luck. Oh, what a good shot. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Chris Tremlett's first ball, loose net. It's gone through. Gone through, under the hands of a middle. He hits it well. In fact, he hits it very, very well. It's on for six. The challenge was lead by Vaughan and Panasau with mid-off and mid-off. 600 comes up as well for India. Well, there's the spiritual leader of the Barmy Army, Bill Cooper. Striking up a tune, trying to raise spirits amongst the England supporters. I don't know what he's playing, but... The best thing to play at the moment would be a lament. An important boundary for Anil Kumble because it takes him now to his highest test score. It takes him into the 90s. Good shot. It's found the boundary again. It takes Kumble to 97 and also takes India to their best score against England ever, beating 628 at Leeds five years ago. They're all on the balcony, the Indians, as Anil Kumble reaches uncharted territory. 97 not out, three short of his first ever Test 100. Here he goes oh! down the wicket and it's a missed stumping. In fact, it's not, it's a bottom edge and he's got it. Four runs in a most unlikely fashion, but what a thing to celebrate for Anil Kumble, who's been playing Test cricket for 17 years, 561 Test wickets and now one Test century. to do it and after 12 hours of toil finally they can think about putting their pads on